art friends. Today we are going to draw flounder. Yeah, from the Little Mermaid. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw flounder's nose. We're gonna draw the sideways U. It looks like the letter C too. We're gonna draw about that size. <laughs> and we're gonna also draw flounder a little more cartoon, even though Flounder is a cartoon. So we're gonna draw the mouth. We're just gonna keep it nice and simple. Then we're gonna draw a little cheek line right here. And then let's draw Flounder's mouth open. We're gonna draw a little U shape underneath. And then we could also draw a little tongue inside. Cool. Now let's draw the eyes. We're gonna draw another little cheek line right here. And we're gonna draw a simple eye. We're gonna draw a circle right above the cheek. And then we can draw another circle right above the nose, the same size. Now let's draw a smaller circle in each eye for the highlight. And we can also color in the big circle, but leave the little circles white. Now let's draw the little chin or lip below the mouth. And we can also draw the cheek. We're gonna draw it coming out of the nose right here. And then it's coming down and connecting to the little lip or chin down here. <laughs> Flounder has cute cheeks. <laughs> there you go. And then we can also draw the forehead. We're gonna start here and we're gonna come up and then stop right above the eyes. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the fin that's on top of flounder. We're gonna draw a curve first that comes down and connects and comes into the forehead. And then we're gonna draw the shape of flounder's body. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes back like this and down. And right at the end, we can curve just a little out. So big curve and then out. Yeah. Oh, we could also add little eyebrows. I'm gonna draw a little curve over each eye. Next, let's draw Flounder's belly. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a little curve, but we're not gonna go all the way back to the tail. We'll stop there. Let's draw the first fin right here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out and then let's draw another curve that starts close to that one we just drew, but then look, it gets further away. Then we're gonna connect those two together. Now let's draw the fin on the other side. We're gonna draw two little curves that come out just like we did over here and they get further away. And then we can draw a curve to connect those two together. Now let's finish the tail. Let's imagine this line going behind the fin. We're gonna come out here and get really close for the tail. And then we can connect those together. Then we're gonna come back up here and finish the top fin, or it kind of looks like Flounder's hair, but we're gonna come down like this and then back up, a letter V. Then let's draw another letter V. We'll come down and back up again. And then we're gonna draw a big curve that matches the body. We're gonna come up like this. And then right at the end, we're gonna come in to a point. Now let's draw the rest of the tail or the tail fin. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out of the back and up. And then we could also draw a curve that comes down to the right. And then we're gonna start up at the top and connect down to the bottom. But in the middle, we can come in like this, then back out and then connect. We did it, we finished drawing flounder, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite part. We're gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yes.
Karen, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring flounder. I think it looks so much better colored in. Yeah, I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. I even added little bubbles. You could even finish your drawing by adding a background. And even draw Ariel. That would make your drawing perfect. We hope you had fun drawing Flounder. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings turned out different, but they both turned out awesome. That's because the most important thing is... Have fun and practice. And practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.